Welcome to Anderson Air Force Base and this mission for the F-16 Viper. Today we're going to do a tutorial. Uh, one of my, this will be my first tutorial video. And today we're going to demonstrate how to change or enter uh, waypoints into uh, the uh, system using the MGRS coordinate system. We'll be working with a JTAC. They'll be giving us coordinates. And I'm going to show you how to enter those coordinates into the Viper for accurate air-to-ground attacks. Let's get rolling. Alright, we're going to enter the holding pattern here. When entering MGRS coordinates into the Viper, the first thing we need to do is go to 4 on our ICP and select steer point. Doing so will bring up the steer point editing page on the DET. And it's important to note that uh, MGRS coordinates can only be entered into steer points 21 through 25. You can see here we're set up in lat longitude. So in order to select MGRS, we simply dauber right onto the sequence. You can see it's going to take a couple of seconds, and now we're in grid. And now we can dauber to the grid. We're at 55 pop-up. 5, 5. We entered 55 into the grid, and now you can, once you hit enter on that, it'll highlight the alphabetic letter which you use on the rocker switch in this case it's 55 Papa so we'll make sure it selects P and then we'll hit enter again now let's work with our JTAC and get the coordinates ready to copy line is as follows one two three NA three eight MSL armored vehicles Bravo Romeo nine eight three eight six three five four Mark by Willie Pete. Zero. No factor. Egress. North. Three. Bravo. Romeo. Nine. Eight. Three. Eight. Six. Three. Five. Four. Okay, we've entered in our grid coordinates now. Nine eight three eight six three five four, which was provided by the JTAC. You can see it's not the most uh, precise. They uh, gave us eight digits instead of uh, ten, but it'll work. Now we'll dauber down to the elevation, which was three feet. Hit enter. And now you dauber down and it'll hit convert, at which point again you hit enter. Now you can see we actually have steer point 21 down here. It's been created and we can even, by hitting the sequence button, switch back to lat long. Let's see how we did with our coordinate entry. Let's see, make sure it worked out. Okay. TGP's on this screen, and let's see what we can find. And look at that, there's our targets. Level out. And we're port. Field, one, one, IP inbound. That we're coming in. And GB released. And GB released. Lazing target. and impact. Once again, we'll select steer point 22 and convert, which by hitting the sequence button, which we've done, and now we'll dauber down to this one, 
and we are in grid 55 enter rocker switch papa enter and now we're ready for our nine line coordinates ready to copy charlie enter romeo enter grid 0422 Six, three, two, one. Enter. Elevation of 1,500 feet. Enter. Dauber down. Convert. Check the HSD, and now you can see there's a waypoint 22 created. Bombs away. Lazy. And target dead. So, that is my first DCS tutorial. I hope you guys all found it useful. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you thought it was helpful. If you thought I could do anything a little differently, please, don't be afraid to share. Do please consider leaving a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out growing the channel. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. This has been Raptor Rising.